Hey guys, I'm gonna do a bit of vlog here a little bit because I didn't do one uh, yesterday with the channel update or you know with the topics of my mind live stream or anything like that. Uh, but just wanted to come on here and give you a bit of a vlog as to what's been going on lately. Um, as you saw with the vlog, I well actually I did do a vlog on you know Sunday, but like I said, I didn't give you one afterwards. But you know, like I said on Sunday, you know Halloween was all right. It wasn't you know, that big of a deal or anything. I mean, if you were to compare trick-or-treaters between my sister's houses, I think my sister in Modesto got a little bit more than my sister in uh, Patterson. But then again, it's a smaller town, and um, I guess with the people still kind of worry about the COVID situation and, and stuff like that, it's it's just one of those, um, just one of those deals that basically you just got to, you know, you just got to work around, and I guess, you know, parents feel like, hmm, you know, we can go to Modesto, just drive there, we might have family there, or turtle walk, or whatever, and we can trick-or-treat there, easy. <laughs> and maybe that's what they're doing, I don't know. But yeah, it was alright, it was alright, we had, we had some dinner there, and everything which we brought home, we brought some of that dinner home that we had last night. But, what was interesting, though, about this weekend, besides, you know, Halloween being on a Sunday, what was interesting about this weekend is... For some odd reason, uh, Bertolatte, Bertolatte, that's their name, Bertolatte, um, they are, you know, responsible for picking up both the garbage and recycling. They do the garbage every Monday, you know, here in our area, in our re in our part of Newman, I should say, they do it every uh, Monday. And then every other Friday, they pick up the recycling, like this past Friday, they were supposed to pick it up. And then, which was the 29th, and seeing as though, you know, today's the 2nd, the 3rd is tomorrow, 4th, you know, the 5th is Friday, that they were, they were going to pick it up again on the 12th. And so basically, they come every other week that our gardener doesn't come. Like, our gardener came yesterday uh, in the morning, you know, and then he doesn't come next week, and next week on a Friday is when they're supposed to get the recycling. But what happened, what, what happened though was really interesting. And it was a first, you know, since me and my mom have been here. And that is the fact that recycling didn't come on Friday, on the day it was scheduled. Now, it's not unusual that, you know, if the Friday falls like on a holiday or something like that, you know, you know the, um, the recycling won't come. It's not unusual for that to happen. Um, it's also not unusual you know, sometimes that, you know, they have to pick it up maybe the next day on a Saturday because of said holiday. So it's nothing usual like that. What was unusual was the fact that uh, basically, um, you know, the trash, you know, not the trash, but the recycling didn't come at all on Friday. And this past Friday was not a holiday. I mean, yeah, it was the beginning of the Halloween weekend. Don't get me wrong about that. You know, it was the beginning of, of that. Don't get me wrong. You know, like I said, don't don't get me wrong about that. So I checked something here. Okay, maybe see things are off. Didn't have to turn on the sprinklers or anything today because it rained yesterday. Um, but like I said, you know, the recycling, you know... Usually it comes on the days it's on the Fridays it's scheduled like it was scheduled to come, uh, like I said on yes this past Friday but it didn't come, you know instead it came, uh, instead they picked up the recycling and the trash yesterday which was kind of a surprise and you know like it's and the last time that's ever happened with me and my mom when you know when that would happen basically was you know when we lived in. Um, you know, when we lived in, when we lived in Patterson, basically, that, that was the last time, you know, that, that happened, it was when we lived in Patterson, they try to, well, I hope my mom's light's not burnt down or anything, yeah, it might be, I don't know, may have to get a new light for her, uh, but like I said, um, Basically, usually the la the last time we had 
of recycling picked up on a, a um, on the same day as trash, as the garbage, was uh, basically when we lived in Patterson, and that was it. You know, nowadays, since we've lived out here, it's been about, and we've lived here now for about five years, believe it or not. So, um, usually, um, usually, basically, it comes, like I said, every other Friday. So, like, it was supposed to come on Friday, this past, on the 29th, this past weekend, and then it's supposed to come again on the 12th, but it came, but it was picked up simultaneously, you know, as the trash was yesterday. So, something, something went askew, something went amiss, if you will. I mean, I don't know if maybe they're changing things up and they're deciding, okay, you know, we're going to follow patterns, you know, pattern, if you will, and, you know, just have it get picked up on Mondays at the same time trash is picked up. I mean, I don't know if that's the new trend going on because there's a lot of things that have changed, you know, honestly, uh, as of late. It really is just throwing people off, you know, for a loop. It re It really is. I mean... You know, I don't know, like I said, if this, if this is something new that we're not aware of yet and they haven't said anything, or if it's just somebody, you know, missed a cue. Like, you know, here's the thing. I heard the recycling on Friday. I heard it on Friday out, you know, out and about. And somebody on what was what is called Sandy Creek Road said it came down there late, came down their area late, but it didn't show up here, which is... You know, kind of weird, if you will, kind of weird that it didn't show up in the other areas that was scheduled. So I don't know if maybe somebody got sick and they had to go home and they had to end the shift early. That might that might have been an issue. I don't know if maybe they um, they just uh, were new and they forgot. Oh, I got other routes to go to and they didn't do it. I don't know what happened. Honestly, I don't. And one thing that I've been noticing along with everybody else is uh, basically, you know, recycle, uh, basically Berta Latte's uh, garbage pickups, you know, around this area and even recycling at times have been, coming, have been coming at times recently a little later than usual. I mean, yeah, they've been picking up the slack a bit, um, if you will, but they've been, you know, essentially... Um, you know, coming out coming out a little later than usual, which is, you know, not exactly what a lot of people are used to. Now, I could definitely say that Berlotta got a lot of calls possibly on, you know, on a Friday and over the weekend, like, hey, what's going on here? And then that's why it got picked up at the same time. You know, that could, you know, that could have happened too. But again, if something changed and they haven't let us know about it, you know, they got to let us know. They got to say, hey, this is what happened. This is why this is going on. Dot, 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 dot. If you catch my drift. So, I don't know what exactly happened. But it was weird. It was really weird. And then on top of that, <laughs> on top of that, my mom tries to call my older sister yesterday because my older sister uh, did a little uh, tribute to my my uh, late our late grandparents uh, on my mom's side because yesterday and today is somewhat the day of the dead you know so she did a little something uh, for them and what was and what was and what was unusual for that for my mom is when she tried to call her up naturally she couldn't call on the landline on this phone that is you know she couldn't call her up the way she's used to because now we have to basically, you know, dial the area code before we call. And it's like the, the one in the area code before we call. Even if we're in the same area code area, we have to do that. And it's like, wh wh when did this start, right? It's like, when did this start? And apparently it's all part of Biden's new administration, which I guarantee you, honestly, folks, nobody's in favor of and that it's going to get called back. I got a feeling that, you know, with elections going on right now in the East and then some elections happening next week, I guarantee you if any Republicans win and get into the Senate office, I, in the House office too, I guarantee you they're going to override that. I guarantee you they're going to say, 
hey, this area code thing, it's stupid. We're overriding it. Goodbye. And then that's it. Because I don't know what the, what the issue is. I don't know if it's for security reasons or, or whatever. I don't know. But obviously, it's very, very stupid, in my opinion. It's very, very dumb, if you, uh, if you want my opinion. And even my mom agrees on that. Because she's like, when did this happen? And, you know, it just happened recently, I guess. But, yeah, you know, besides that, it's just one of those situations uh, that's happening. Now, my mom did let me know that, you know, her and her fellow teachers are counting down the days and I talked about this, I think, uh, in the Christmas video I did, the one talking about the music, Christmas music being on the Sounds of the Season now, uh, Music Choice Channel. Uh, basically, I think I mentioned this, but basically they are looking forward to counting down the days. Like, they're counting down the days to, uh, oh yeah, I talked, no, I mentioned this in my channel update yesterday, but they're counting down the days, days um, if you will, to when they get out. You know, at least not just for Veterans Day a week from Thursday, but for Thanksgiving weekend and then mostly for the Christmas break because it's like, we got to get away from these kids, get away from these brats, if you will. And, you know, they're, they're just, you know, looking forward to that. Even though they got a lot to do, they got to bring some of the work home and, and finish up on it to make sure they're caught up on things. You know, they're just really looking forward to it. And again, this is why I said in the channel update that potentially starting next week um, I will be doing some videos that I will be uploading not just for Veterans Day maybe but also uploading mostly for the weeks that will follow um, basically Thanksgiving weekend and, and all that now here's the thing though I got an update coming up and I looked up the update on uh, online to see what's going to be obviously it's not going to be too bad hopefully and if I have to go through it, I will go through it. If I can hold it off for a while, I'll hold it off. But yeah, I got an update coming up. I might even do the freaking update while I'm at church on, on Sunday. You know, so that way it's out of the way. And then I can come home and be like, okay, there you go, done. You know, because I got a feeling we might start with my sisters too. I don't know. Um, but yeah. But yeah, it all depends on how that goes. It's the November update, so we'll see what happens. And, you know, just go with that. You know, like I said, just let it do its update thing and, you know, just go with, go with that. There's one thing about the update deal I will give it a little credit for, like I've said before, is at least when you do the Windows update, at least it will go into what's known as a, a stop mode, a new version of stop mode where it restarts arts and everything after the update, does the update, then it shuts down. And then what I do is I start it back up, I let it load, give it time. And then I basically shut it back down afterwards and then turn it back on naturally so there's like no issues or anything if you catch my drift. Um, but yeah, you know, again, not really much um, happened over, not, but again, not really much has happened except for, like I said, the, the recycling, again, for some reason, didn't come on the day it was scheduled, but instead got picked up on the day, the same day as trash, trash does. So again, I don't know if maybe that's something new where it's like every other Monday now they do it instead of Friday. I don't know. Because if it is, they need to let us know about that. So, you know, we'll just see what happens. I mean, again, someone could have gotten sick and they couldn't finish the route. Or someone thought they completed the entire route and decided to go home without coming here. You know, that could have happened too. I don't know. Uh, but I can tell you this, honestly. The... You know, even though I didn't see his face, I can tell you honestly, the guy that normally picks up the tr uh, trash here on Mondays, who my mom's encountered several times, that she kind of considers being a grouchy guy, because I think, honestly, and both her and I agreed on this one time, I think he's a little envious that we got this house instead of him. Like, maybe he put his name in, but he didn't have time to pay it, and my older sister did for us. So, you know, maybe he's angry of, oh, you know, they got my place and everything in his eyes. That might be it. I don't know. But, yeah, it's just, again, like I said, one of those, um, it's just one of those weird situations to where, you know, potentially, you know, it might have just been a, a mistake, a mishap, or it could be something new, and they just haven't alerted us on it yet. But, yeah, again, that's really about it for the vlog. I just wanted to let you guys know, besides the Halloween one I did this past week, exactly what's going on, you know, how things are 
you know, being, you know, how things are going around here and what's been happening. But let me know what your thoughts are. Comment down below, like the video, live chat during the premiere, which I'm sure you have, hopefully. Uh, check out the Teespring store. Also check out my VW Roses on Vimo channel for some videos you can't get anywhere else due to copyright reasons. Also check me out at BW Roses on Patreon to help support the brand there with two different tiers available. As well as check me out at BW Roses. As well as check me out at BW Roses discussions on all your favorite audio podcast locations except for Pandora. Also check me out at Venmo if you want to help donate to the brand and the channel there. So until next time, guys, I will talk to you all later.